next topic is depreciation. Okay. So with depreciation. So assuming I go and buy a new car. It's a brand new car. And then the value of this car I bought at that point was let's say 50,000 Ghana cities. Okay. I bought a brand new car for 50,000 Ghana cities. Now, if this car depreciates each year by let's say 10%, and I want to find the value of my car at the end or after three years, okay, I want to find the value of my car after three years, and maybe sell it to someone, or maybe I won't sell it or something, I don't know. But I want to find the value of my car, okay, after three years. And I'm saying that the value of my car depreciates each year by what, 10%. Now, why I'm using depreciation here because maybe I buy something new and I use it for some time. I don't expect to sell it maybe in three years' time, the same price I bought it. Because I've been using it, definitely the value of that car will go down. Okay? Because of the potholes, you know, Ghana always are bad. There are a lot of things that will, a lot of factors that, will, that is going to hinder this 10%. So, by all means, this 10% will be triggered. At some point in time, okay. So you forget everything and let's take it as seen in reality. This is the way that value will depreciate. The value of the car will depreciate. It's ten percent. Now let's go on. Now, if I want to find the value of the car after, let's say, three years, so I'm going to pick the value depreciating, let's say, per annum, okay, every year by ten percent. So if I find ten percent of this, I'll have ten percent over 100 percent times 50,000 okay times 50,000 so zero cancel zero and then the day I am percentage will go away I'll have this as 500 times 10 which is 5,000 okay so I have 5,000 here now it means um, in the first year the value of my car depreciated by 5,000 so if I want to find the actual value of my car at the end of the first year then the value of car at end of first year will be equal to this 50,000 minus what? The 5,000. Okay? So this is going to give me, I think, 45,000. Okay? 45,000. So this will be the value of my car if I decide to sell it let's say in one year, okay, in one year time, okay. Then we move on to um, value of my car. If I want to find a depreciation again for the value of my car at the end of the first year, then I'm going to pick this amount, okay, which is this 45,000 and calculate 10% again before I can find the value at the end of the what, second year, okay. So you keep calculating depreciation, okay, until you get to, let's say, the number of years you have been asked to stop. Okay, now assuming that sometimes the percentage changes, they will tell you the value of a car depreciates each year by let's say 10 percent, the following year by 5 percent, the following year by 2 percent, and so on and so forth. So, in that case, you'll be changing the percentage when it comes to the year given. Okay, but in this case, we are using a flat rate of let's say 10 percent. Okay, so for that one, we go for the second year depreciation for the second year, okay? So remember, we are doing this for three years. This will be equal to, again, which is 10%, 10% over 100% times 45,000 Ghana cities, okay? So this is going to give us zero cancel zero, zero cancel zero. So percentage also go away. So 10 times 450, again, this is going to give us so we have 4,500. So if we want to find the value at the end of the second year, value at end of second year, this will be equal to the value at the start of the second year, which is 45,000. Okay, so we have 45,000. Minus 4,500. Minus 4,500. So this is giving us 4,500. We'll go for the third year. 
Okay, we do the same thing for um, depreciation for the third year. Okay, so if we calculate our depreciation for third year, so this will be again 10% over 100% times the value which is 40,500. 40,500. So 0, 0, 0, 0, we shall have 10 times 405, which will be, 4, 000, so this will be 4,050, okay? Now, if we want to find the value of the car at the end of the third year, value of car at the end of third year, this is going to give us this is going to give us the value of the car and then the third year will be this amount, which is the 40,500 minus 4,050. So this is going to give us 40,500 minus 4,050. So this is going to give us 36,450. Okay? So if, in case Mr. Sua buys a new car for 50,000, and in that scenario, we are told the value of that car, or whether it's a fridge, a freezer, or anything, a generator, and we are told that the value of that generator or car depreciates this year by 10%. Then if I've, I've been asked to calculate the value of the car or the generator at the end of the third year, then this is the value of that car or that uh, generator. So if I intend to sell it, I can sell it at this amount, okay, which means the value of the car has what dropped from fifty thousand to what thirty six thousand four hundred fifty at the end of the third year or after three years of buying it. Okay, so with this, we are going to solve some examples under compound interest and depreciation. So let's move on to our next topic, which is what income tax.